Hi everyone, Darren from Draytech Australia in New Zealand, and this is the Draytech Vigor AP903. The Vigor AP903 is a concurrent dual band 802.11ac wireless access point featuring Wave 2 technology with 2x2 MuMimo. MuMimo stands for multi-user, multi-input, multi-output and is basically a high-tech way of managing multiple connected devices while reducing congestion. The 802.11ac version is the AC1300 standard which allows for speeds up to 400 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band and up to 867 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band. In the box we have a quick start guide and an ethernet cable to plug it into our local area network. We also have some screws if we want to mount it on a wall and there's some slots in the back of the AP to allow for that. Up the top here we have two detachable antennas which are 2 dBi for 2.4 GHz and 4 dBi for 5 GHz. They use a standard SMA connector which makes it easy to screw on higher gain antennas if you need to extend the range a little. Like the Draytech ANT1207 or the directional ANT2520. Over here we have 5 gigabit ethernet ports with 4 marked as LAN A and 1 marked as LAN B. That allows the Vigor AP903 to also function as a switch if you need to plug in more wired devices somewhere out in your network where you don't have enough outlets otherwise. A classic example is in my house where I only wired a dual outlet in the rumpus room and my kids have since turned it into a PC gaming room with multiple PCs that they prefer wired rather than wireless but they still want Wi-Fi for their tablets and phones. The LAN B port also allows the creation of a port based VLAN or virtual LAN to segregate your wired devices into separate network segments which you might do for either security or for performance reasons. On the wireless side of things it also supports up to 4 SSIDs for each Wi-Fi band. That's for both the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz bands to allow you to segregate wireless devices for the same security or performance reasons. So you might want to set up an SSID in one or both bands for guest access so guests have internet access but they can't get to any of the devices on your private network. This port here, LAN port A1, supports 802.3 AT power over ethernet or PoE which allows the Vigor AP903 to get its power and data through the same ethernet cable. So if you have a PoE capable switch or PoE injector at the other end, you won't need a power socket for it. On the other side, we also have a USB port, which you can connect the Draytec DT201U USB thermometer into to monitor the device temperature. Apart from plugging the Vigor AP903 into the end of a cable to run as a standard access point, it can also be configured to run in range extender mode, also known as repeater mode. That means it can pick up a Wi-Fi signal and retransmit it to extend the wireless range. But the big feature everyone's talking about is its wireless mesh capability. Wireless mesh networking comes into its own when you need to run multiple wireless access points to extend the wireless coverage over a large area. Running multiple wireless access points tends to get tricky to manage. Problems arise such as if you get two wireless access points too close together on the same radio channel, they can drown each other out where you might get too many devices connected to one wireless access point and bog it down when some of those devices could easily connect to another wireless access point nearby to reduce the congestion. Or if a wireless access point fails completely, it can leave a big hole in the network. One way to manage multiple wireless access points is with a wireless controller, but they tend to be fairly expensive and it also adds a risk to the Wi-Fi network. If something goes wrong with the controller, the whole Wi-Fi network might go down. A wireless mesh network though is a form of ad hoc network where the devices all talk to each other to manage the wireless traffic and coverage automatically. If one access point dies for some reason, the network will cleverly try to heal itself to fill the gap. Configuration wise, one device acts as the root while the rest act as nodes and it'll support up to seven nodes. The initial setup is very straightforward and can either be done using the root Vigor AP903's GUI or using the Draytech wireless app, which can be downloaded from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. I'll include a link to those below, as well as a video from Ash where he explains wireless mesh networking in more detail, as well as how to configure it. Other features include airtime fairness to equalize the transmission time of each client so one device won't slow everyone else down. Band steering to redirect 5 GHz capable devices to the 5 GHz channel for faster speeds. A built-in radius server for 802.1x authentication. 
an improved roaming experience using fast roaming and access point assisted roaming technologies to automatically drop wireless devices as they get out of range, forcing them to connect to another access point with a stronger signal. Its built-in DHCP can be configured as either a DHCP server, a DHCP client or a DHCP relay agent. Central AP management is supported so they can be managed, maintained and monitored from a Draytech router interface on the same network. And it's supported by the Vega ACS2 central management system so they can be managed, maintained and monitored remotely. Okay, let's plug it in and have a quick look inside. Okay, getting into the Vega AP903's GUI interface is a little bit trickier than usual because its DHCP server isn't on by default. So we need to give our PC a static IP address. So I'll go into my Ethernet adapter properties, change adapter options, properties of that one that we're plugged into at the moment. And we go to Internet Protocol version 4 and we just select use the following IP address and we want 192.168. Dot one dot. Now this last number can be anything except for 192.168.1.2 because that's the address we're going to go to in a moment. I'll just choose 10. Now we open a browser and we go to 192.168.1.2. The default username and password are both admin. And then it goes straight into our setup wizard. So we can change our operation mode here from access point to mesh route or mesh node or range extender mode and go through the wizard that way. Up here we've got our admin where we can change the administrator password, that's the login password. Uh, we can log out automatically, we can log out manually there and it'll auto log us out after a period of inactivity which we can set up to 10 minutes. Or we can turn that off if we don't want it to log us out at all. If we don't want to use the wizard, we can expand the menu and go to our dashboard and see everything that the AP903 is connected to. There's our wizard again. We can change the operation mode manually here from AP mode to mesh mode, mesh root, mesh node, range extender mode down the bottom there. LAN general setup this is where we can change the DHCP client to a DHCP server if we like and uh, DHCP Relay as our central AP management as our mesh settings again our wireless LAN settings for 2.4 gigahertz and we can set our radio channel and uh, maximum number of clients we want connected set up our Wi-Fi security there's all our WPS advanced settings AP discovery bandwidth management airtime fairness station control roaming band steering our station list that'll show us everything connected we've got the same settings for 5 gigahertz there's our radio server settings there applications keep alive for iOS we can switch our Wi-Fi off automatically. There's our temperature sensor setup. Mobile device management. System maintenance. System status. There's our TR069 settings if we want to set up uh, central management to control it from another Draytech router on the same network or if we want to control it remotely using the bigger ACS2 central management system. We can change our administrator password here as well. We can have a user level setting. We can back up the configurations, syslog, mail alert, time and date, SNMP management. We can reboot the system there. Upgrade the firmware here. We have some diagnostic tools. So 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi statistics, 5 gigahertz station stats, interference, airtime, and under support, we can connect to the Draytech.com knowledge base from there and register it from there as well. Okay, I'll include a link below to a test drive of these configurations so you can explore it in more detail later on if you like. Okay, 
So that is the Draytec Vega Ray P903. It comes with a two year back to base warranty and is available now from Draytec resellers. For more information about all Draytec products, please check out our website at www.draytec.com.au. If you have any questions, please comment below or please send us an email to sales at draytec.com.au or you can give us a call on 02 9838 8899. Once again, I'll include a link below to a test drive of the configuration menus. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like below and don't forget to subscribe. Give the bell a click too if you'd like a notification of new videos as we put them up. Thanks and bye for now.